Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Brandon Royval versus Tetsuru Taira. Brandon Royval, 16 wins, 7 losses. He's 4-1 in his last 5 fights. The last loss was Alexander Pantoja, which, yeah, because Royval puts himself in bad positions all the time. Plus 165 underdog at 32 years old. 5-9 with a 70.5 inch reach. Fighting Taira, who's 16-0, minus 200 favorite. 24 years old, 5'7", with a 70-inch reach. 2-inch in height for Royval, with a half-inch reach advantage in the striking. This is, this is an, uh, you know, a typical Royval fight. I mean, if you look at how they fight, strikes landed per minute, 4.33 to 3.56. Royval, accuracy is 36 to 65. Taira, strikes absorbed per minute, 3.42 to 1.70. Defense is 46 to 47%. Here's where it's interesting. Takedown average for a 15 minute fight is less than half. 2.35 for Taira. Accuracy 60 to 47. Takedown defense is 40 to 62. In submissions, they both go for is 1.1 to 2.1. So I do think the quality of opponents that Royval has fought is definitely obviously better than Taira. I just think he's been in the UFC longer. Obviously, he's fought more guys. He's also lost more which got him to fight more guys. You know, if he just kept winning, he would be champion. He wouldn't have had to go through the road that he had to come back down, come back up. I mean, that's obvious. So uh, with Taira, it, a lot of it is just making Royval make mistakes. Don't get caught up and take bad shots because Royval will, does have incredible cardio. I fucked that up. Okay, well, hopefully that wasn't too bad. But again, uh, okay, yeah. Again, I, I just I just really, really think Tyra is going to be able to, again, create the same issues that Royval has had his entire career. He consistently puts himself in bad positions. Consistently. Also, if you look at Royval, let's look. Submission attempts. One for Pantoja, but a lot of control time in this matchup. 15 almost 16 minutes of control time for Pantoja. You know, none for the uh Nikolai fight, seven seconds. I mean, yeah, nothing basically there. Um uh da, 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 Pantoja, the, the other time they fought, you know, two two submission attempts, three takedowns, Moreno, two takedowns, two submission attempts, you know, Tim Elliott, four takedowns. So Pantoja had eight takedowns, Moreno had three takedowns. I, I really, really, the problem I have is Tyra does have some sneaky power. I think we've seen that. I don't think he's beat anybody, you know, crazy. Like, he had got a knee injury from the Alex Perez fight. But, you know, Carlos Hernandez was the first one to finish him. You know, I, I'm not saying, you know, necessarily early his power could be an issue for Royval because of the way he fights. He could catch him or hurt him early really bad and then submit him. Um... But as the fight goes, I don't think the, the striking is going to be too much of an issue for Royval. I just think Royval has to stuff the takedowns and create the opportunities for Tyre to make these mistakes and overwhelm him with his punches. Stay on him. Don't let him breathe no matter what. And then I think you might be able to break him a little bit. Tyre, you have to, in this midst of chaos, get it, you know he's very good at getting the back. He's very, very good at getting the back. He has to create those opportunities to get Royval's back. Good thing for him is Royval gets up his back a lot. Royval gets up these bad positions a ton. Even if he's able to get out of them, he's still in them. At some point, he catches up with you again and again and again. And this is another time and again. Tetsuru Taira by submission. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.